Um, listen, guys, what a pleasure to have the opportunity to talk to you today. Congratulations on the show. Um, I, you know, look, look, I'm a little bit older than you guys are, but I was a fanatic, read every single Nancy Drew and Hardy Boys book. I, as a matter of fact, still have the original series, the original book. Do you really? Wow. I was a kid. Yeah. So, uh, Rowan, let's just start with you because when you, you know, got this role, I mean, these are iconic characters. Let's mm -hmm. not joke around here. Um, yeah. Did you read the books? Were you familiar with them at all? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I grew up with them. They, like, for me, they were, they were like the cabin books. Do you know what I mean? Like, like whenever I was like a Snowden day or for the sake of my generation, no internet, um, <laughs> I would, oh, I would, uh, <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> um, I would, I would always read the books. Um, and, uh, so I, I, I knew them really well. And, um, the way I came into the show was really abstract and, 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 uh, I, I actually, um, just talked to the director and, and he sort of pitched the show to me. Um, and I was so excited and honored to just bring like a new moment in the long history of hardy boys and hopefully the long future of of hardy boys yeah. um it was crazy so yeah i i i know them well they're in my heart so good stuff alex how about you because you know obviously you're a little bit younger so uh, you know what was your introduction to the hardy boys uh well i mean i didn't read them when i was growing up i i, I had no idea they just weirdly i had heard of nancy drew but i had never heard of hardy boys until this role and like as soon as I got this role and I read the books, I was like, why has nobody told me about <laughs> any of this, you know? So I read some of the books and like I did some research and there's this whole world of people. There's thousands and thousands of people and their entire childhoods are based off of these books. And it's, yeah. it's, it's kind of crazy to think like now <laughs> I'm doing that, you know? And there is a bit of pressure involved the, you know, you kind of freak out a little bit, but once you get into it, once you, you know, they call action, you're just lost in the world. You know, you, you're given these fantastic scripts, this crazy world that they've built, all these cool locations that I've been to. Yeah. And like, you're, you're in it, you know? Yeah, you're in it. That, that is for sure. And what I love about it, I mean, look, the show starts off in a dark place. You know, you guys go, your characters go through a pretty traumatic experience and I wanted to know how the bonding happened with the two of you and and you know because clearly you guys get along really well so Rowan why don't you start with that because it's lovely to see the relationship between these brothers but did you guys hit it off right immediately yeah sorry my internet dropped at the start of that but I I, I completely think I understand what you were asking um and <laughs> Yeah, um, for, for us, it was like, it was crazy. When I heard I was doing this, I think I had a week to pack my bags and go up to Toronto. So um, I basically walked into the table read and gave Alex a hug and said, uh, you've got no choice, you're stuck with me. <laughs> um, and, uh, and we got along really well. And Alex is like the sweetest kid. And the second I heard him read Joe, and it was the same thing when he auditioned. It's just, he's just so this version of Joe. And it, it's so obvious um, that he was the biggest, the easiest way into the show was through him, right. you know, building that relationship and that brotherhood. Uh, Cause I have two brothers in real life. So it's mm -hmm. something I know well, but he was so open to it. Um, and, uh, and also the first scene of the show, I don't know if you've seen any of it. Yeah. The, the first <laughs> uh, scene that we did, the two brothers bickering, we rehearsed that over and over again to sort of yeah. try and get the banter of the, of the two brothers. Yeah. Alex, what about you? Because, uh, you know, obviously, look, Rohan's a, a great role model. Like he just said he has two brothers. And so he knows yeah. he knows a little bit about the brother thing. But what was yeah, your reaction yeah. to meeting him? Um, I was just I was a little worried because I hadn't met him before the table read. So I was worried, like, what if what if they cast like an insane person? You know? <laughs> like, what if he's like crazy? And what if I don't like him at all? Like I'm gonna. And I was only a little crazy. bit crazy, so it's fine. But just yeah. enough crazy, just enough crazy to be like fun crazy, you know, not like crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so like, like you said, like I just showed up. He gave me a hug, and we were like, okay, off we go. And we did all this, mm. we, like we did that first scene, and we did this really fun thing where Jason Stone, the uh, the director, he made us come up with a bunch of like classic '80s insults, like like butthead and barf bag and stuff like that. And he gave them to us and tell us to just improvise the scene as best we could. 
Um, and we would just do it over and over. And it was just this really fun improv exercise. And that got us really close. And we were just having fun, honestly. And like, it wasn't mm -hmm. super like, you have to do this, you have to do this. We were like, it, it was a very freeing artistic experience, I guess you could say. Yeah. Was, uh, yeah. It's totally fun to watch it. And Rowan, I wondered, you know, what do you think it is? Why do you think the Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew, like why have the, the series just endured for so long and it transfers from generation to generation. It never gets mm -hmm. old. What is it about these detective mysteries with kids? And, uh, you know, everybody loves it. What do you think? I just, I, th I think it boils down to like when you're a kid and that imagination is just on fire and, and everybody has that thing where they, they're, they're really hoping, you know, for someone like you who read those books and, for me, I was really hoping I would walk into the woods and find a World War II plane myself, and right? and I would, I would I would find my own mystery and be able to go off and solve that. Because I remember being a kid, my imagination was so alive. I think my parents were just like, "Can you go outside and control you? <laughs> like, go go crazy." You know what I mean? And and that that's what was cool uh, about doing something like this. And like you said, it's been going forever. And like when when you look at why that is, I, I think it really does just boil down to that that childhood urge to to get yourself in trouble and 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 um, be out on your own and feel like you're out on your own. Yeah, yeah, Alex. What for you? What what has been um, a challenge for you working on this? Because like I said, it starts off. There's some. It's fun. It, there's some you know light stuff, but there's a lot of darkness too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I worked a lot with my acting coach to get a really genuine performance out of this show because I want I want it to be as as real as possible because you know something like the Hardy Boys can feel very fictional sometimes yeah so I wanted to to people to watch this and feel you know really real emotion for for these for these brothers who are going through a tough situation right now right. so I, I worked really heavily on that and you know, I, I, I developed some techniques and stuff. And I think in the end, I think it really paid off because, you know, I, I think we, Ron and I both told the story the way people wanted it to be told, you know. Uh, we've gotten a lot of good feedback, people saying like, yeah, I'm 60 years old and I've read these books since I was a kid and I loved the series, you know. That was really, really awesome to see because I was worried that the diehard fans would take too well to it. They'd eat us alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a huge compliment for sure. You know, it's, yeah. a, it's a daunting experience to take on these characters, you know, mm -hmm. but I, I would like to see Sean Cassidy make like a uh, little cameo or something. That's what I, I, day one, I said it. Yeah. <laughs> no? Same boat. Yeah. Both of them. Like, I, I think that for us, old old people here i think that that would be awesome last thing i, I just want to talk about the casting because there's so many great people on the show as well mm -hmm. that you guys get to work with um tell me a little bit about like linda thorson come on wow yeah that was that was crazy i <laughs> that was like you're never prepared to work with those people because they show up to set and they've been doing it so long and they're so dialed in yeah. that like I, I don't know what you expect but it's they're just so good yeah. and, and and to have those people around, and it's the same with James Tupper as well. It's to have people around that are that are so experienced and know, know um, they just kind of have a, a wider vision of the scope of the show. And it, it was really special to be around those people. And uh, also for them to be like, I read these. Like, these are so important. Yeah, right? I can't believe we're doing this. And being around people every day that we're reminding you, like, this is a really cool job. Yeah. Um, and this is really special. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Linda's amazing. Keanu Lynn, amazing. Adam Swain, amazing. I love everybody on this show. It's such a good time. Yeah, it's got major potential. And very last question, Alex, for you. So how do your friends feel about the fact that you're a hardy boy? I'm pretty jealous, I'm it's, sure. I mean, to be fair, I was expecting more of a reaction out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, would, I would be in class. I would be in class. And I would be like, yeah, no, they would ask me, like, Alex, why are you missing so much school? It's like, I'm on set. Oh, you're doing a show? What is it called? Doing, it's like, oh, it's called The Hardy Boys. And they'd be like, what's that? Never heard of that. And then the teacher would be like, what? Somebody said The Hardy Boys? <laughs> and everybody my age would be like, oh, yeah, no, I haven't, I haven't heard of that before. <laughs> Pretty, yeah. It's pretty cool. Listen, it's cool yeah. for the two of you. It's been my pleasure today to talk to you both and, and best of luck. And yeah, I, I, listen, I can't, I can't wait for more episodes. Like this is so exciting. So, uh, you know, and bring more work to Toronto. Yay. So, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Wonderful. Uh, congratulations on everything and just stay safe and healthy, you guys, and we'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.